You'd be surprised what you can buy in a vending machine. Let's talk about that. Mythical morning! Okay, right off the bat, I wanna say, yes, my bottom lip has exploded in a series of cold sores. Yes, it has. And I wanted to wear this in order to, so you wouldn't have to look at it. Yes, he did. Um, because this is a daily show. I'm committed to doing this show. I'm not gonna not do the show because my bottom lip has exploded in in painful nastiness that I don't want you to look at, but Rhett has, so I'm gonna do the show, but Rhett's told me that I shouldn't wear this. You, that's more distracting. When you wear a mask like that, I think maybe the apocalypse is happening and you're protecting yourself from some virus that now I'm being exposed to. And plus, if people don't wanna look at your lip, they can just hold their thumb up over it as they look at their screens. And it makes my, my glasses fog up. Yeah, it makes your glasses fog up. Throw so, that thing away. So Be I, yourself, Link. Let your lip out. This is Bring me. your lip to the world. I have a virus. Say, world, lip, my lip baby. Within my lip. Maybe nasty. That comes out. Out sometimes, and but, I, I'm sorry, but I would ask that in the comments, so we, let's not make this a discussion. Instead, let's talk about vending machines, the topic of the day. Well, hold on, but I encourage people to, if you know what, embrace Link. Virtually kiss your screen right now. Kiss him right on his nasty lip. Take your phone or your computer and just kiss uh, the screen would, right now. I wouldn't do go that kick, far. No, kick, pucker up, pucker uh, up. I'm Let him kiss you. There, this is accept. They need to accept you. You're just making, pu you're making up, it worse. Pucker up a little bit. It hurts to pucker up. Okay, sorry. It also hurts to smile. Kiss him while laugh, he's talking and talk. Kiss him virtually while he's talking. Please. I know you did it. I, I'm actually. Let's move on. Sorry. I'm actually excited about this episode. Can Me we, too. Can we please focus on vending machines? Yeah, I'm not gonna look at you though. <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm not looking directly at you. Put in some coinage, get out some awesomeness. Uh, first century vending machine dispensed holy water. First vending machine ever. But now it's canned drinks outside of the really? Walmart, snacks outside of the in, in the snack room, or uh, even iPods at the airport. But I have found huh. some of the craziest, most unbelievable things that are vended Across the world, I've and got. I'm a, a big fan of vending machines because you know I'm a compulsive spender. I've got eight things. Some of these I've made up. Okay. Some of these are true. You have to guess which ones I made up and which ones are true. Okay, I'm if good you, at this. If you get six out of eight of these right, you get your own vending machine with something awesome in it. Seventy-five percent. That's yeah. tough. If you get less than six right, you get something horrible in your vending machine. Uh, but I get a vending machine. Here we go. Are you Either ready? way. Yes. Bingo. And don't look at my screen because it's got, it could have answers. I don't want to look that way at all today. Forget grape soda and flaming Hot Cheetos, people in Japan line up at their vending machines for rhinoceros beetles. That's right, vending machines all over Japan sell live rhino beetles. Real Li or fake? Uh, live? Live rhino beetles. That sounds so outlandish that it has to be true. True. It's real. Fun fact, collecting rhinoceros beetles and fighting them is a favorite pastime of young Japanese boys. They apparently enjoy poking them with sticks in order to guide them in, in uh, fighting. And they have the big horns and they flip each other over. I'm Vindy, a fan of that. Vending machines everywhere. Next one. Fresh baked bread is so 1950. Us folks in the future eat our future food from cans that come from vending machines built in and sent back from the future. Why are you using that voice? The can. Is that your future voice? No, it's like I'm selling you the vending oh, okay. machine. All right. The, or you could win it. The canned bread vending machine doles out flavors including chocolate chip bread, coffee loaf, and fruit bread. A bread vending machine? Canned bread vending machine. Fake or real? Nobody would buy that, that's fake. Real. No, what? For $4 you can get a cute little can this? of bread in, in Japan. Just go to Tokyo and get yourself Whoa! Tokyo, do I have to say it? Oh, oh. I thought saying it again would get you to stop, but I was No, wrong. that's not how it works. If you say it, I gotta Stage do it. Stage fresh up to three years. Pretty cool. Well, that sounds great. Let's visit China, where citizens of the People's Republic visit vending machines for their denture and dental needs. Want to eat solid foods before your next dental appointment? Insert some coinage, and it'll spit out some temporary dentures. A toothbrush and a sanitary rinse. Uh, that is not true because doctors have to build that stuff for you, man. You can't vend your dentures. Your dentures are made to fit your gums, dude. You are, you are correct, Rhett. Booyah! Fun fake fact. Fact. 
One Chinese man, terrified of the dentist, pulled all of his teeth one by one using a string tied to a tail of an ox and then wore the temporary dentures from the vending machine exclusively until his death at the age of 103. So you made the whole fact up. Yeah. That's a, a good fact. It's, it's not just, true. It's just a fun fake fact. Fun fake fact. FFF. I bet you think booty paper grows on trees, don't you? Booty paper? Well, in Japan, it grows in vending machines. Roughly one dollar gets you a packet of tushy tissue to keep your caboose clean. You're talking about TP, toilet paper. Toilet paper vending machines. No, no doubt that needs to be real. It's real. Fun fact from Wikipedia, toilet paper is a soft tissue paper product primarily used for the cleaning of the anus. <laughs> Thanks for the detail. Smooth. I didn't know what it was for. I thought it was for blowing your nose. Just for clarification, I'm now moving on. Okay. Smooth, creamy taters mashed to perfection and then dried and crushed to a bland, tasteless powder can be yours for only $1 at your local 7-Eleven store in Singapore. And what's that? Do you get gravy? Of course you do. So are you talking about like dried Ma up mashed potatoes? Nope, mashed potato vending machine. It's just a mashed potato vending machine? Sure. Fake or real? That's fake. It's real. What? Look at this video in Singapore. Check it out. 7-Eleven. Mashed potatoes. Mm-hmm. Here comes the gravy. Ooh, we got a gravy tube. I could use that gravy tube for a lot of things. Like what? What are you talking about? I don't know, put gravy on lots of things, man. Gravy makes everything better. All right, here's another one. Rhett, I know you get a little lonely sometimes. Hold on, I've missed two right so far, right? Okay, so I have to get the rest of them right. You gotta get them right. Rhett, I know you get a little lonely sometimes, and the vendor friend is there to help if you live in Shanghai. Choose from a selection of actual living people, and they will hang out with you for a predefined amount of time, depending on how much money you pay. That's right, the vendor, ma vendor friend machine provides a safe public place to meet your pay by the hour that's friend. That's very creative, but that's not true. You can't vend a friend. It's true, it's fake. Fun, It's fake. true, it's fake? It's true, it's fake, okay. it is fake. You're right, it's fake. You're right, that it's fake. That would be a better way to say it. What you said was true, it's false. Got it. Fun, fake fact, the most popular vend a friend activities are pick up basketball, yep. followed by bike rides, chess, and quote, just chilling out, shooting the breeze on a bench somewhere eating hot dogs. That's good, and, and gravying with the gravy tube. Here's another one. For the busy businessman on the go, sometimes long nights of crunching numbers and filing TPS reports at the office result in mornings wearing the same tie as the day before. Big business person pro. <laughs> I can't see. You have problems with I'm the having, P's because your lips. I can't, I cannot say it. Have P. you noticed your lip? Big businessman faux pas. For a mere 1,000 yen, you can gain back the respect of your coworkers by stopping by a convenient tie vending machine. Never again succumb, succumb to the shame of two-day tie wearing again. Tie vending machine. Tie, a tie, a necktie. Business tie. Uh, not true. You don't need. Uh, who would do that? You don't need a. It's real. There's a picture. Fun fact: for an additional 600 yen, you can grab yourself a disposable camera. 550 yen, you can get some AA batteries on it to power the tie. It's powered? No, that was just a stupid joke I made. You can get, but it is real. It is real. Okay, so I've lost. This is just for this is just for the gravy at this point. Red, do you sometimes get really angry, but are too passive aggressive to really do anything with that pent up aggression? Mm. In comes the anger release vending machine. Pop in some change and watch as fine China, China, China. <laughs> You're having trouble. Watch as fine China is released from the vending spirals and falls and shatters in front of your face. Ah, oh, sweet anger relief. Okay, so this is a fine china, like. Passive aggressive anger release machine. Plate wear. Yeah, plates fall, break, your anger's released. Oh, give me a break, that's really creative though. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Look at this video. What? Now, this is an interactive art piece created by Yarosol and Kublitz. Oh. It, but they they placed a few of these machines around Berlin. So they actually were out there and you could vend out some, some and it would it would just break it when as it came out to the it bottom. It would just break. Well, Red, it seems that you've lost the game. You get let's, let's hold on. So play. that's it. That's all of them. Yeah, I lost. You, you lost it. You know, it's gonna be fun though. You know, and everyone's happy because you're making fun of my lip anyway. Here's your vending machine. Hey, this kind of passes as a vending machine, but 
you don't get some candy in it, you get gefilte fish, which is great, just not necessarily in this capacity. I'm gonna let you put that in there, right? I think we need a fork. Why are you gonna let me get my prize? You should give me my prize. Well, it smells like a dead cat. That's a, it's a fish. Is it cat? It's a fish right here. I think a cat would like to, oh my goodness. I don't think that's Look, gonna come out of the hole at the bottom too well. It's a gefilte fish. Good. There we go. Oh, brother. You might wanna put some of that All on All right. It might heal it right up. Thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You know what time it is. I have on a pro, no pumps, in the It's them to spin to clear on the vitality. Make sure you're following us on Instagram. That's Rhett and Link. Every Wednesday is Waffle Wednesday. If you like waffles and you like Wednesdays, you're in luck. And click through to Good Mythical More because I'm going to get Rhett to eat some of this gefilte fish. Yeah. It's not, it doesn't smell that bad. Well, we'll, we'll see how it tastes. Rhett performs a heart operation on Link. Okay, uh, well, you got some symptoms. On, there's something happening in your heart, obviously, right. because it's manifesting itself on your lip. <laughs> right, And right. that's what Wikipedia told me. You got lip Total. things happen. It's a heart condition. Right, and so, I'm, I'm here for the surgery. Yep, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm I have ready. a fork. I have a fork. Okay. Okay, so just uh, just relax a little bit. You'll probably go through Central California. Well, it's kind of like, it's like spaghetti. You gotta kind of, I you, think that, you feeling that? That's more of a, you gotta break through the sternum. Okay. Ow! There you go. Okay, you're in. Yeah. You're in. I'm gonna hide it from the people. They don't want to see. Ooh, it's still beating. Okay, yeah. Shank it. Now what do I do? Let me Shank it. Look it up. Shank it. Haven't you ever seen Temple of Doom? <clears throat> what does he say in Temple of Doom? He, he holds it out and like screams with like a like with his eyes really big. <laughs> I make a daily internet show. And I wanted to wear a mask, but my buddy and co-host, Rhett, told me, and I come on, I'm like, don't wear that mask. Let the world see your lip.